one thing I love talking about is Zelda, right? Tears of the Kingdom is my favorite Zelda game of all time. I've been covering Zelda for decades at this point, and I just love the idea of trying to figure out what Nintendo is going to be releasing for Zelda. Now, they talked in years past how they want to get something Zelda out every single year. Obviously, last year was Tears of the Kingdom, so the question is, what is happening this year? Now, we've had some rumors from people like Zippo, whose you know blog was nuked, and others about an Ocarina of Time remake, and we've talked about that to some extent and how exciting that would be. I do think something like that would take a bit of time, and I'm not sure that it's been in development for years. Could have even started development last year. So I think something like that might not come till 2025, maybe 2026. We'll have to wait and see, but that kind of leaves this year open. And what could Nintendo do? Because we widely believe that this is going to be a transition year from Switch to the next system. So what could Nintendo want out Zelda-wise that could really maybe take advantage of both systems and take advantage of the old audience and then the new audience on Switch 2? And that's how we get back to this idea of the Wind Waker and Twilight Princess HD. Now, I realize them releasing them as a combo pack is something many of us have wanted for some time and we think makes a lot of sense because they already released them individually. We also know these are massive Zelda games for Nintendo and there is a chance that maybe they would release them individually on their own as well. But however Nintendo decides to do it, I think there is a high likelihood that this could be the year. And no, this isn't because Jeff Grubb or anyone else is out there saying this is going to happen. And maybe that's the biggest reason to believe we will get these games this year is because the typical people who have talked about this aren't talking about it anymore. We've had Andy Robinson and several other insiders say that these games are done and sitting on a shelf. And when is Nintendo going to release them? And then Jeff Grubb obviously falsely saying they were going to come out a couple of years ago and that never happened. And I know some of you guys will never let him live that down. But the point is that it does seem like these would be obvious ports. They're Wii U you know, games at this point, the ones we're talking about, the HD remasters, and it do would make a lot of sense to bring them over. Now, I've speculated they might be holding back so they can do them in 4K, 60 FPS, all of that stuff over on Switch 2, but what if they're doing both? What if it's going to be this dual-release game or this backwards-compatible game that just happens to have new features and upgraded stuff on Nintendo Switch 2? Now, some things would need to get reworked uh it's quite interesting because like the tingle bottles that they replaced the whole tingle quest with in wind waker hd uh would that even need to be reworked that i don't know i know like oh you use the second screen for that that could easily just be a menu uh so i don't know that there's a lot of reworking that needs to be done for that in fact most of the wii u features i don't i'm not really that worried about the reworking of them look yeah they, they put the inventory on the screen and other uh, this is all stuff they could easily go back to a menu system for but i do think that it makes a lot of sense for these games to arrive this year and that's because it's a transition year and with it being a transition year having transitionary games makes sense now i do think that nintendo tends to have a really big remake or remaster for zelda really early on in console life cycles when there isn't a new Zelda game launching the system. There actually is a pretty decent history of that. And that's what I think the Ocarina of Time remake could be. But we're talking about this year. We're talking about filling out Nintendo Switch and continuing to have Switch games come out. And the big thing to remember is that Wind Waker and Twilight Princess are technically both originally GameCube games. And we heard from Emily Rogers, one of the very last things she put out there before she retired from being an insider, is that they were going to end this generation with a ton of GameCube remasters. And that's exactly what we have seen, right? We were already seeing that in play. I mean, just forget last year even, right? Pikmin 1, 2, all, forget all of that stuff. Look at this year, right? We have Thousand Year Door right? Now, Luigi's Mansion 2, yeah, okay, that's technically a 3DS game, but I'm just throwing out there that, like, we've already seen remasters from GameCube last year. We have one this year. This would just be more to add to that pile, and if they released it as a collection pack, they can maybe even charge $70, where you're actually paying $35 for each game. They could also sell them individually on the eShop, of course, and that, to me, would make a ton of sense. These are high-value, highly sought-after Zelda games. The HD versions are actually quite expensive to get your hands on because there's only a limited number of copies because, well, the Wii U really sold a limited number of systems. So 
there's an entire Zelda audience now as well that bought Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom that never played these games, that might jump at the chance to try out some classic Zelda goodness. Plus, you have the OG fans that maybe just didn't buy a Wii U that, that want to have these games in HD, 60 FPS, and all of that on their current systems. Look, there's a lot of reasons for us to want the Wind Waker and Twilight Princess HD. The thing is, will Nintendo actually do it? And while I was looking at Nintendo's release slate of Zelda games over the last decade, it actually feels like this is the year to slot them in. If, if not both of them, at least one. But because they're so intrinsically linked together, if they do happen to just be ports of the Wii U version, specifically on Switch, you know, with some minor tweaks to make everything work in the UI, then I do think that they will probably be a combo pack this year. Now, again, they could spread it out. They could release one this year, release one next year. That's always possible, and I won't put it past Nintendo because these are big Zelda games, and they've never been comboed together truly before. But we'll have to wait and see. What I want to know is, do you guys agree that these games should come out this year, that now is the right time, and that having versions for both systems, or there's some upgrades with Switch 2, but it's still on Switch, is a good idea, a cross-generational release, as it were. I think it makes a lot of sense. It gets something Zelda early in the Switch 2's life cycle, gives us something Zelda you know, this year on Switch when they're trying to do something Zelda every year. And honestly, I, I, I kind of feel like a combo pack at 70 bucks is just a good value. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. You guys let me know what you think down in the comments below. I am Nathaniel Rubblejance from Nintendo Prime, and we'll catch you in the next video. <laughs>